crowdsource geographic information is user-generated content contributed by a large number of volunteers. The collected geo datasets are a free alternative to commercial datasets and governmental agency data. This presentation focuses on social media. It explains the type of user-generated geographic information that can be extracted from Twitter, Foursquare, and Flickr social media platforms in different topic areas. Social media are all forms of electronic communication, such as websites and applications, through which users create online communities to share information, ideas, personal messages, or videos. Types of social media include forums, microblogging, social networking, social bookmarking, and wikis. Social media is often used for crowdsourcing by businesses, individuals, and organizations to solicit ideas or raise money. Social networks enable users to communicate beyond local or social boundaries. They also offer features such as social games and the ability to share user-generated content such as photos and videos. This bar chart plots the average daily usage of social media worldwide over the years. The number of social media users is steadily increasing. Total users reached 1 billion in 2011, surpassed 2 billion users in 2015, and is expected to reach 3 billion in 2021. Furthermore, the time spent engaging with social networks or services on a typical day has been increasing over time as well. The need for people to connect and network with each other has led to the advent of a plethora of social networking platforms and apps on the internet. The number of social networking websites goes into the hundreds. The landscape is permanently changing. Many websites are general purpose social networks with a variety of functions. Some applications have a more focused purpose including photo and video sharing networks, lifestyle networks, or travel networks. Some widely used social media platforms are shown in this collection. Social media content often contains a spatial component. This allows analysts to parse that information and describe a spatial phenomenon in question, such as where do tourist hotspots cluster. This presentation will show three common social media platforms that offer spatial data, namely Twitter, Foursquare, and Flickr. The kind of information that can be extracted from them, such as hurricane and travel data, will be demonstrated. Lastly, techniques for improving comprehension of this data via visualization will be presented. Twitter is an online news and social networking service where users post and interact with messages called tweets. While these messages were originally restricted to 140 characters, the limit was doubled to 280 characters in 2017. Users access Twitter through its website interface or through apps on their mobile device. Users may subscribe to other users' tweets. This is known as following. Individual tweets can be forwarded by other users to their own feed. This is called a retweet. A Twitter hashtag is a string of characters preceded by the hash character. It is generated by users as a method to categorize content, highlight topics, and discuss ideas. Hashtag strings can be clicked to trigger a global search of tweets related to a topic of interest. This figure shows a hashtag cloud. It displays frequently used hashtags extracted from a selected set of tweets. If someone is interested in the Olympics, a starting point could, for example, be to search for the Olympics hashtag on the Twitter website. This returns all tweets with that hashtag. Newest tweets are shown on top. Under the People tab, users whose tweets contain the Olympics tag are listed. On top, the most active users are shown. These include channels of the event organizers and broadcasting companies. A trending topic is a phrase or topic that is mentioned at a greater rate than others. It helps Twitter and their users to understand what is happening in the world and what people's opinions are about it. Some worldwide trends are shown to the left. Third-party websites generate sophisticated trend maps for different parts of the world and different time frames. For example, this figure shows word trends in tweets over seven days. Larger terms indicate a more prominent trend. This figure shows the hashtag trend map for the same time period. Typical topics include elections, scandals, wars, or natural disasters. 
Another website visualizes tweets in real time across the world as red flashing circles. Turning on the day-night layer indicates that the animation was recorded during early nighttime in the US and past midnight in Europe. This explains the lower tweet frequency in Europe. The website can also generate a heat map of tweets. This shows the hot spots of Twitter activities around the world. Another method to view Twitter activities is through the cluster map. It spatially groups tweets posted over the last 24 hours. A keyword filter allows one to narrow down the generation of heat map and cluster layers to specific topics. In this example, we are interested in areas where people tweet about snow. This occurs during December, mostly in the Northern Hemisphere. One can also look for tweets that contain two search terms, such as snow and storm. This further narrows down search results and yields fewer clusters. Clicking on any of these clusters allows one to further explore tweets posted on the selected topic. As shown in this example, the tweet warns of an upcoming snowstorm in Montana. One can also set the toggle switch to search for tweets with certain hashtags. As an example, we search for tweets on the Thomas Fire. This was a massive wildfire burning in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties in California in December 2017. Once the corresponding hashtag is typed in, related clusters appear. This can be explored further interactively. The Twitter website allows users to scroll through the latest tweets that contain the Thomas Fire hashtag. The search function can also be used to search for tweets containing political terms, such as Brexit. This is a popular term for the prospective withdrawal of the United Kingdom from the European Union. As the resulting cluster map reveals, this term is mostly tweeted in Great Britain. Foursquare is a local search and discovery service mobile app. It lets the user search in their surrounding area or in remote locations for restaurants, nightlife spots, shops, and other places of interest. The app provides personalized recommendations of places to go to near a user's current location. In May 2014, Foursquare launched Swarm, a companion app to Foursquare. Social networking and location sharing aspects of the service migrated into this separate application. Swarm is a mobile app that allows users to share their location with their friends by checking into a specific venue. Swarm allows broadcasting of check-ins to other networks, including Facebook and Twitter. Location and check-in data collected in Swarm are used to improve a user's recommendations in Foursquare City Guide. Those check-ins that are shared on tweets can be obtained from Twitter. Alternatively, the complete set of check-ins can be purchased directly from Foursquare. This animation takes a year's worth of check-ins across Chicago. Starting at midnight, all check-ins are aggregated by timestamp and plotted on a map. Straight lines link sequential check-ins. Commute patterns towards the city center are very discernible in the morning. Specifically, travel from and to the two major Chicago airports intensifies. In the later afternoon hours, commute patterns in the outward direction from the city are shown. This is followed by an increase in nightlife activities shown in blue. One important crowdsourcing component of Foursquare is that a user can create and add a new place, such as a garden center, tree, forest, or vineyard. For this purpose, the user can pick from a selection of over 900 categories. These categories vary slightly between countries. The location of these places can be downloaded through an API and used in any kind of analysis such as determining the number of restaurants in a city district. The figure to the right shows four square venues in the downtown area of Salzburg, Austria. They were downloaded through the Foursquare API. Foursquare reviews these added locations through so-called super users to verify locations and to increase data reliability. In this figure, green dots are verified locations that underwent such a check. Orange points indicate all venue locations. While some points of interest of the unfiltered Foursquare dataset are incorrectly placed in the Salzach River, no point in the filtered dataset is. This indicates that revision through superusers has a positive effect on the positional accuracy of Foursquare data. 
The next social media platform, Flickr, is an image and video hosting website. Users can label their uploaded images with titles and descriptions, also known as tags. Images and videos can be annotated with geographic coordinates via geotagging. This process is often automatically achieved through a GPS-enabled device, such as a smartphone when shooting a photo or video. Geotagged images can then be visualized on maps or searched in a region of interest either on the Flickr website or through the API. This map of central and southern Florida shows some locations of geotagged Flickr images that contain the term mangrove in either their description or tags. A total of 7,183 images match the search term. However, only 15 of them are shown in this map to avoid overcrowding. Using the left and right arrows, the user can click through the remaining pictures. Their locations will subsequently be shown on the map. When clicking an image thumbnail or map point, the photograph website opens with all the descriptive information. For example, this figure shows the top part of the page, which includes the image title, photographer, number of views, and copyright information. Flickr can be classified as a social networking website since it supports an active and engaged community where people share and explore each other's photos. For example, Flickr users can follow the photo streams of other Flickr photographers, post comments to a Flickr photo, or mark someone else's photo as a favorite. The left panel shows some comments posted by other users about the previously shown mangrove image. Flickr groups are a common means of interaction with fellow Flickr members around common photography interests. This photo is participating in 29 groups. Some of this group participation is by invitation only. By scrolling further down the photograph website, one is led to a photo's tags. Tags added by the user show in dark gray, such as mangrove and Florida. Tags suggested by Flickr's algorithms appear with just a gray outline. The photo sharing website Flickr has become a valuable information source across many disciplines including tourism, transportation, biology, meteorology, and ecology. In previous studies, text information and visual features in Flickr photographs were used to automatically observe natural world features such as snow cover and vegetation cover. They were also used to perform land use classification as well as determine geographic and temporal dimensions of species distributions. As an example, a research study predicted the spatial distribution of the black woodpecker for Europe using textural tags found in Flickr images as shown to the left. This can be compared to a ground truth dataset of the European Network of Nature Protected Sites, Natura 2000, shown to the right. Generally, there is a good match between both sources. However, in Flickr, the number of occurrences is overestimated in some parts of Europe. For example, Spain and the United Kingdom. Combining Flickr data with structured scientific data, such as digital elevation models or population, in the classification algorithm can remove most of those overestimation errors. This presentation started with the definition of social media and gave an overview of common types of social media. Then the essential functions of the three social media platforms, Twitter, Foursquare, and Flickr, were explained and animations of data contributions shown. Lastly, examples of research questions that could be addressed with these datasets were provided.